Hello, and what I want to do today is show my kids a game that I, it's called the Charles Darwin Evolutionary Game. Um, it's talking about natural selection. So I'm going to type in evolution, find this game. You can see I've been there before. And as soon as I click this, you're going to hear Charles Darwin actually give a very short explanation of what's going on. And you will find out that language back then was much faster and shorter than today. So here comes Charles. <laughs> And that's all he says. Okay, um, I've already uh, found the shockwave file for this, so I'm going to zip into this one. Um, and you can see there we are here. Um, you can actually go in to learn about selection, or natural selection. And it types up some information. Yeah, and shows a couple of variations there. Let's just proceed to the next part. It talks about uh, traits being passed on from parents to offspring. So I'm going to click this. And we're going to take part of one of the birds, looks like the main part of the head from that bird, the bill from this one, and the eye from that one. And we actually come up with a different bird than either of the two parents. Hopefully this uh, variation change will actually make this bird more likely to survive. It talks about competition, it talks about some things well, being more good. beneficial than others, um, allowing some to be uh, more likely to survive. As you see some of them zip off the screen because they had the wrong trait or they were in the wrong place at the wrong time and just didn't have the ability to hide. Survival game who wants to live a million years and I'm going to go ahead and proceed. First thing we do is we start with uh, three critters and you can see we're picking different traits and you can see color, you can see um, size of the legs, amount of fur they have, if you want to see some more, uh, we've got stripes, got green heads, red heads, and I'm going to try to pick um, a couple of different ones. Pick that one because medium height, fur, and long legs. I'm going to pick uh, red hair, no fur, um, medium legs, and I'm going to pick, uh, I don't want fur, let's pick stripes. Do we have a red-headed stripe with medium legs, maybe? It looks like we'll do redhead stripe. And then we proceed. Yeah, and we let time roll. Okay, we can do a genetic mutation. Um, we want to do this, okay, well, we've got berries on vines. And you can see maybe some of the short ones don't actually make it, and we're going to get longer legs. Uh, here comes somebody. I hate this guy. Okay, and we can actually... Uh, do a genetic mutation. Let's pick. I'm going to cancel that. I'm just going to proceed. You can see my population is declining, but I survive. Okay, now it says it's turning into a little bit more heat, so maybe beneficial with uh, less. I'm going to try a genetic mutation. I'm going to try uh, somebody with. No fur, if that's possible. Do I even get that option? Okay, probably want light color. I'm going to pick this guy. And does that make me survive? Oh, I made it 861,111 years and I did not survive. I'm going to have my kids go until they can actually get the, the signal or the, the uh, certi certification here, certificate that says that they did survive a million years. Okay, hope you enjoy the game. It is a neat game for natural selection. It does show the kids that uh, sometimes even the best uh, effects, best traits don't survive. Thank you. Bye.